Yo YouTube, what's up? This is Tevin here. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you guys my new skate setup. Um, I'm finally no longer going to be skating those crappy old Walmart boards to do like, you know, just like funny videos. Like, I just got a new setup today and it's actually right here. Um, this is an almost... As you can see right there, the brand name is Almost. Well, it's backwards because it had a camera, is, but it's an Almost High Tide board. Um, it's an 8.5 inch deck um, with Venture Trucks. I don't know if you can see those, but there they are. And we've got some Bones wheels right here with some Bones bushings right here and right here, along with some Bones bearings to fit in the wheel. Now the thing I like about these bearings is that, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but they're actually black. If you really look closely, they're actually black on the inside. They're no longer, I don't skate like those crappy old, you know, Walmart silver bearings with those like plastic inside of them. Um, I can tell you right now, this is probably about the best set, this is the best, and I mean this is like the sickest setup I have so far. Um, I will be putting videos up soon to do tricks because I know this board is pretty much, wow, this is like, I'm not sure if this is like a 7 ply or what, but it's like a really good deck. Like, as you can see, it sort of has some green edging around the perimeter right there. Um, the concave, I don't know if you can see that, um, the concave I think is pretty good for me. Um, I have really big feet, so I need a really big board. Um, so yeah. Uh, but that's pretty much how this is. Like, I love this board. Like, I haven't skated it yet because I just got it in the mail today um, at Zoomies. I ordered it online. So it's like, you know, I feel like, you know, I want to start, you know, bringing some more skate bids back up because I haven't been skating in like two months. And that's too long for me to not be skating. So as soon as I can, I'll be start, start putting some videos up gonna rip this bad boy up here I love this deck it is the best deck I ever had and it's the perfect size for my feet once again I'll show you every detail about your trucks bones wheels bones bearings right there um, and we got some red bones bushings here let me see if I can bring it closer they're sort of red bones bushings so yeah, um, this is probably about the best setup I've gotten in my life. Um, normally I'd be just fooling around with 7.75 decks, but th I actually finally got a deck that's the right size for my shoe, so I cannot wait to skate this. I know I'm going to be killing it with flip tricks, and I'm going to be like, I'm just going to be killing it, I can tell. Um, but yeah, so like, hopefully once I, you know, start getting a little bit more advanced, like, Right now, I only know how to kick flip, tray flip, um, front front pop, um, front pop shove it, back pop shove it. Um, I can do a front side 180 almost, um, and I can ollie, of course. Ollie is the first trick I learned. Um, and I can somewhat heel flip, but I know with this board, I'm probably going to learn a whole lot more advanced tricks. So, once again, guys, um, how about if you just let me know in the comments what size board you skate or what size deck you skate because I skate an 8.5 um, a lot of you are probably like wow that is a really big board you're gonna have a hard time flipping that and um actually no I'm not because for me I actually have a problem with over flipping skateboards so most likely I'm gonna not over flip this like because like to me and let me just tell let me just tell you guys this now. Like all of you that say that whenever you like, especially when doing kickflips, um, a kickflip in my opinion really depends on how wide your board is from like heel side to toe side. Because like say if like you do a kickflip, you're like say if like you're a size 13 like me, and you try to do a kickflip on a board that's only 7.75 width, you're gonna have a hard try time like getting that board keeping it under you because your shoe is so big and then that your deck is so skinny your shoe's gonna hang halfway off for one your heels probably gonna hang off like so much that you're gonna lose balance and two by the time you get up to actually pop the kickflip like when you get like to here it's gonna like make the board spin like that like you're doing a varial flip and like that's the main problem I had with 7.75 decks so like it's like you know I really hate when like I, I mean I, I just I'm just surprised that no one has uh, mentioned that 
when doing learning how to do flip tricks in that matter. Like with a heel flip, you could probably get away with it. Um, I somewhat I got away with it on a on an eight point one. It was an eight point, but this is the official size for me. It's an eight point five. This is a really big deck, um, but hey, I'm a size thirteen. I have really big feet, so you guys. Once again, you guys are probably thinking that's 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 insanely too big. It's going to be hard to flip. I hear a lot of people saying that. Well, only thing you need to do is like if if you're active, then see, cause like. To do flip tricks especially, you need a lot of adrenaline. And if you don't have a lot of adrenaline, then it's going to be very hard to flip the board. Because you need to be like exercising every day and you need to be like skating every day. Because like, if you're not skating every day, there's going to be, like you ever get those days like where, oh my fucking god, I just can't seem to land this trick. I mean, I, I keep doing it, I do anything right, but it keeps not flipping enough or it's flipping too much. Well, you rarely ever hear someone say that that I, I'm flipping the board too much when doing a kickflip because most of the problems that happen is that they're either flipping it too much or they're just landing with their front foot on um, and then their back foot is just hanging behind the tail so um, just keep that in mind guys that whenever y'all say that oh well you need to put your foot more on the board or you need to skate a smaller board because if you have a bigger one it's going to be hard to flip not knowing that physically, if you're active as me, I have really strong feet. I can kick a soccer ball like mad far, so I'm pretty sure I can kick for the good on an 8.5 inch deck. So um, once again, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the review on this deck. Um, even though I haven't really skated it, so it's not really a review. I guess it's just like a sort of unboxing, but this is already out the box. So yeah, uh, please let me know. Let, let me know in the comments what you think of this video and I will try to get some skate boots up as soon as I can so um, I only got one subscriber and that's my best friend so like I said if you please feel free to subscribe like the video comment and such but once again this is my rod this right here is my rod I mean I just love the way how this deck is like it just feels so great like, I know that it's going to be a great day. So, peace out, YouTube.